Welcome to 2020. I'm super excited because as you know, I put out a new monthly planner every month for authors. It's always free and it goes out to everyone on my mailing list. And I shouldn't say authors. I actually changed it recently. So it's for readers as well. So if you want to get the January 2020 monthly planner, make sure to sign up below. It is free and it's a special episode where it is doing all the, like your whole annual 2020 year at a glance so you can plan out your whole year. Now it's not crazy because I am also of the school of thought that having a singular focus and really prioritizing your intentions for the year is going to give you the best ROI for your time, your effort, um, and your investments. So that is why for today, I have invited seven of my amazing and wonderful author girl boss friends to also share what their number one priority is for 2020. I'm Lisa. I'm a cozy mystery author, and this is my author tube channel where we talk about all things related to cozy mysteries and the author writing life. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and I do extra videos like today. So make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos go live. And yes, that is my cat in the background. So I know some people when they do filming for videos will put their pets outside, but I really like Lucky and I would even venture so far as to say I love Lucky. So I am going to just let him kind of hang out while I'm filming. And if that is something you are not like excited about, then I'm probably not the channel for you anyway, because I'm pretty much always talking about my cat, posting it on Instagram and probably showing pictures of other people with their pets because I just love animals. So yeah, so that's me. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and roll right into today's. My name is Lauren, I'm a copywriter, and my focus for 2020 is gonna be around financial literacy. So making sure that I'm spending my money in the right ways, saving my money in the right ways, giving back in the right ways, and just being less of a hot mess when it comes to my cash flow. Hey everyone, my name is Kirsten Iverson, and I am a business consultant and my main focus for 2020 is to become more financial literate. I found out recently about this thing called the FIRE movement, retire early, um, or financial independence, retire early, and it's really intriguing. And so I would love to start making my money work for me. So understand more about investments and you know just how to be smart about that. So that is my goal for 2020. Hi, I'm Carissa Schrader and I am the owner of The Bold Vocal and my goal for 2020 is to fully embody my voice. So not just singing, but in speaking and in integrity and in speaking my story and my truth fully on all platforms. Hi, I'm Meg from Meg Marie Photography. I'm going into my third year of business in 2020 and my number one goal for 2020 is actually to prioritize pleasure and to focus on my own self-care, my own pleasure and doing things that feel good for my business, for my life and just really finding a lot of a lot more pleasure and joy in running a business and less hustle, less stress, just more flow. Hi, I'm Camila Gornia. I am the founder of Heart Behind Hustle. I'm a business coach and my goal or focus for 2020 is to bring in more recurring revenue in my business. So rather than working with a ton of clients and doing a lot of work for clients, I am looking to shift more into courses and my year long academy. Hi, my name is Kristen Martin. I am an author and a business coach for creative entrepreneurs. My focus for 2020 is going to be having a ripple effect. And actually every single year I choose a word or a theme for that year. So for 2020, my word is just 
ripple because I want every single thing I do, every piece of content that I create, every book that I write, every single thing I do, I want it to have a ripple effect. And so I feel like it's the, you know, the six degrees of separation, but I just want to see how far this ripple can go. Hi, my name is Jessica Stansberry, and I am a personal and business development teacher at jessicastansberry.com. My number one priority for 2020 is to help as many women as possible figure out how to live a life that they love by giving them tips and tricks and tools and tutorials and courses and hashtag all the things to be able to do that. Because my biggest mission here on this life is to make sure that we all look forward to Mondays and we all are excited about what we do and who we are in the life we're living. Happy 2020. How amazing was that? Hopefully that sparked some great ideas for you and inspired you and encouraged you to find your focus for 20. 20. Now, if that was not enough, um, I also have a huge list of 50 other ideas on what you can focus on in the 2020 annual planner. It's just a laundry list to, again, just spark some ideas. Uh, I always like to know what everybody else is doing and it helps me to really figure out what I want to do because sometimes you just don't know and I totally get that. Uh, so, Back to our last but not least, let's go back to the list. I'm Lisa, I'm an author here at Lisa Latte. I'm a graphic designer over at Pretty Fabulous Designs and my priority for 2020 is intention. So just like Kristen, I set a word for each year and in 2019 it was focus and it was very focused on whatever happened to fly across my desk come my way or a thought that I had to create a new product or a business or something like that. However, I wasn't very intentional. I was very, basically a very focused pantser last year and I would like to be a very focused and intentional plotter for 2020 with my life, with my business, with my books, with everything else. So that is going to be what I am focusing on for the whole year. So what is, I wanted to share exactly what I'm doing. I'm super excited about it and I'm super excited about next year. So if you also would like to be more intentional with 2020, uh, because that is what I am going to be doing, make sure to join me on January 1st. I will be holding, hosting an intentional mapping exercise. So in addition, we'll be going through all of of the 2020 annual planner. Uh, if you just didn't have a chance to go through it or you just like to do it in a group with other people. And I will be sharing with you my intentional mapping exercise for how I am going to be mapping out all of my priorities and projects for 2020. Includes my books too. So if you are writing books, we will talk about a publishing schedule as well. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. So three action items for you before you go. The first one is download the 2020 annual planner that's free. I'll leave a link below. The second is to sign up for the intentional mapping exercise on January 1st. And the third is to go visit all of the wonderful people who were so generous and so uh, giving of their time and their focus to share with you their priorities for 2020. I will leave links to all of my friends below and you can go check them out. All right, I will see you guys on Monday, on Tuesday, whenever January 1st is. That is a Wednesday. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. All right, bye.